of the Bible is been speaking to me back to back and I want to pray I speak these um, prayers and um, scriptures over you and please not I wanted to use the word if it is possible but make it possible that you also let this word sit into your spirit man let it sit in, observe it, receive it, come in agreement with it, pray it over yourself, over your situations, over your family, over your business, over your health, over your mind, over whatever that looks like um, illness right now in your life. So I'm going to take this scripture, Second Kings chapter 2, verse 19, verse 19 to 22, and it says, and the men of the city said unto Elisha, Behold, I pray thee, the situation of this city is pleasant, as my Lord see it, for the water is not, and the ground barren. And he said, Bring me a new cross, and put salt therein, and they brought it to him. And he went forth unto the spring of the waters and cast the salt in there. Now listen, listen attentively. And cast the salt in there and said, <laughs> you see why it's important for you to speak? I just said, make sure you speak, you speak this word and you come in agreement with this word. And then he's, and he said, thus says the Lord, I have healed these waters. There shall not be from thence any more death or barren land so the waters we are healed unto this day according to the saying of Elisha which he spoke there is this space there is probably this place in your life that has been sick it could be your business your marriage your spouse your mind everything sick or barren everything that looks filthy like we are the children of god like if you understand what the scripture like literally this picture is speaking you can you are a child of god so you obviously you are these people told elisha that look this place is is awesome it's a good place like we are blessed to have such a place but the water is what the water is terrible the water is sick the water is the water is death itself and the land is barren you are a child of god that makes you a beautiful person but guess what if you do not if you do not <laughs> there must there might be a place in your life that looks sick god god in his infinite mercy is healing every part of us all the bitterness in our life he's making it he's giving our life a beautiful begin he's making our life tasty again god is going to is crowning our life with the beauty of his salvation he's taking away every dead things in our life everything that is bitter every barrenness in our lives and he's giving us life he's giving us health he's blessing our thoughts our innermost mind our spirit mind man every single part of us he's moving everything that is dead in us and he's replacing it with the life that he has and life that more in abundance because he is life itself and everything that is bitter in our life shall become sweet and everything that is barren in our lives god is taking barrenness away from our lives and is and he's re and he's replacing it with abundance with some one verse one to three he's going to make us be like a tree that is planted by the riverside i hope this particular part of the scripture has blessed you you can pray this over yourself you can go study the scriptures for yourself second case chapter two verse um 19 to 22 just go over it go over it over and over again and let it marinate let it sit into your spirit to receive it come in agreement and may god almighty in his infinite mercy and grace bless you bless me bless each and every one of his children 
the devil will not exalt over us. We are his seed, his children. He recites in us. Greater is he that is not than he that is in the world. This is our heritage, the blessings of God, the, 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 tasty, the beautiful taste of God is our portion and we shall have it in the brandons. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. So guys, stay blessed and see you in my next one. See you.